what's going on YouTube I hope you like the scenery I put a new mount up on the ceiling of the car right now guys uh, I'm on my way home pretty tired working all day you know uh, but I wanted to do this video you know with the new mount up here like this and uh, I think I know the topic of this video you know I told you guys in previous videos that uh, I was going to let you know you know about my eyes, you know, I got eye problems. I mean, my vision is very good, you know, but um, there is a lot to talk about when it comes to my eyes, man. <clears throat> um, so I'll just start from the beginning, okay, guys? And then it'll lead up to, you know, the problems that I have with my eyes right now and uh, what led up to it. So right now, guys, you know, I don't have to worry about holding the phone, um, and I'm just driving, okay? It's up on the ceiling, and I like it. So, yeah, I mean, I can start from the beginning, or I can start from how my eyes are currently, okay? This video, I guess, will be about my eyes, guys, okay? Now, you know, um, the reason why you guys saw me pouring that milk in my eyes, you know, is because milk is one of the things I pour in my eyes um, to lubricate my eyes. Now, I used to use... Not Visine, not that brand, but like a store brand uh, for artificial uh, tears. But I stopped using them basically when uh, they doubled the price, you know? And then what I was just started doing is just uh, started just using like a bottle of water and just do the same thing I just did with the milk for dry eyes you know um, another good thing I like to do guys is you know after my my tea my hot tea cools down I like to uh, see I got a person tailgating me right now I'm in the slow lane just doing the speed limit and they just don't know how to switch lanes and pass. And they finally did. Like, people really need to learn how to drive, you know? Like, the other lane is wide open, but they want to tailgate me. So anyway, guys, what I like to do with the tea bag is... And right when he passed me, there's a cop up here. He already got somebody else pulled over. But I like to use like green tea bags or like you know green tea with ginger and just squeeze the tea bag into my eye as well green tea really like soothes it and everything but if, if it has ginger in it then it'll kind of make make it like spicy you know it'll kind of be like a burning sensation in the eye which is actually good because it's basically you know uh killing that you know is killing any uh bacteria or whatever so though those are the three things that i put in my eyes for lubrication Yeah, you know. 
know what? I'm just gonna pull over guys so I could actually talk to you guys. You know, so I could actually focus and not not waste your guys' time, you know. You know, um multitasking, you know. So I literally have this mount up on the ceiling. So let's just start um, from the beginning, right? My eyes weren't the best when when I was, you know, a kid. I'm just gonna say kid because this is the communication that people understand that regular people understand, you know, a lot of people don't have the knowledge, you know, but when it comes to the word kid, I'd rather use the word child because a kid is a goat, you know, a baby goat. That's a whole nother video, guys, that I gotta do on how Satan wants us, wants us to call our children uh baby goats because the baby you know the goats are are you know the uh, the offspring of of the seed of the serpent a whole nother video guys for that you know but um if i say kid you know i'm just trying to get the regular person to, to you know to 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 understand you know But I'd rather not say it, so I'm going to try not to say it. But if I do say it, it's just so regular people can understand what I'm saying. But so when I was a child or whatever, right, I always had bad eyes, as in eyesight. Never dry or nothing like that, but so anyway, I had glasses for years when I was younger. Then I moved to uh, contact lens. I slept in my contact lens once in a while, which isn't good for the eyes, you know, that can make it dry. And then it was one point in my life when I had my own business, I was really hustling and all that legal hustling. You know, I don't know if anybody really know about the coupon business, but I was in the coupon business where I guess that'll probably be a whole nother video on the coupon business or whatever. But I picked up and I learned about the coupon business uh, just from uh, my first job, which was a cashier. I was ringing up these coupon business people, you know, and I learned the coupon business, what they were doing with the couponers as I was ringing them up, you know, and how they were getting stuff for next to nothing with the couponers in how they get the coupons, you gotta have a, uh, you know, a supplier to supply you wholesale, like, um, like, a, like, like 2,000 of the same type coupon, you know, we would get, uh, we were getting it from like the Star Ledger, uh, newspaper and stuff like that back in the day, man. I don't think the coupon business is really popping nowadays, but um, I made, I made, I made, I made some decent money and flips like that, man. Um, you know, I had to, you know, talk to and be cool with the, like the store manager and, and the, uh, department managers in the store so that they would order me like, say, for example, a thousand tubes of toothpaste because I got a thousand coupons that's gonna, um, knock down, you know, the price, you know. And then some stores will have, you know, a policy where, you know, if the coupon is under a dollar, they will double it, you know. And then other times, sometimes on like special occasions or whatever, uh, they will they will even triple it. But but for the for the most part, it, it will double automatically, you know. So if the coupon is, you know, fifty cent, that means it will double to a dollar. Because uh, they will, the store will take off 50 cent, you know, they basically don't match the, uh, the, uh, the company that's putting out the uh, coupon. So if uh, 
for example, say Aquafresh puts out, you know, a coupon for 50 cents. The store doubles it, right? So that means it's going to come to a dollar. Or, for example, if it's 75 cents, anything under a dollar, they would double. So 75 cents would double to a dollar 50. So say, for example, uh, Aquafresh is on sale at ShopRite, whatever store, right? Um, for two for three, right? That means it's a dollar fifty. So if you got that seventy-five cent coupon, or even that fifty cent coupon, you can make money. You know, if you got the seventy-five cent coupon, that's that's free. It's on sale for two for three. Regular price is probably like two ninety-nine, right, or something like that. It's on sale, right? It's in the flyer for the week, and. Uh, <clears throat> My eyes are dry right now after working all day, guys, so bear with me, okay? I might have to put more milk in my eyes. But, uh, it's on sale, you know, for two for three. Coupon would double, 75 $1.50, you get that for free. All you gotta do is uh, pay sales tax. So, if I have a thousand coupons, I'm cool with the manager, the department manager, and he ordered me ahead of time, you know, a thousand of the product, and I cash out, I, uh, they, you know, uh, set me aside with my own cashier, you know, because it's going to take a while, the cashier rings me up, you know, and sometimes there's like a limit, right, and stuff like that, so, so a lot of times we'll have to do like separate orders, but other times not really, you know. But several orders take a lot longer, you know. I guess this video will be about coupons now, guys, you know. And see, that's what I don't like. But, like, because I branched off a lot, guys, so I'm sorry about that. So this cute, like, this video, I'm still going to talk about my eyes later. But it's going to be about coupons and my eyes, okay? So basically, you're paying the sales tax, you know, so the sales tax on something that's two for three, a dollar fifty each, you know, that's probably going to be like 13 cents a piece, right? So if I'm paying 13 cents a piece, the sales tax that is on a thousand pieces of tubes of toothpaste, that's probably, um, Is that $13? I think it's $13, if I'm not mistaken. $13 or $130. But that's, but you guys see how you could make a profit. And then I, I so I was doing stuff like that. I had like a whole um, supply you know, over time that I had on deck and then I was just going to the flea market to sell it, you know, and make a profit. So, yeah, man, that's the coupon business back in the day, you know. And so, yeah, that was my point, man. I made money from that and I had money because I was, I was wholesaling. So I was selling wholesale. So say if I was able to get those Aquafresh toothpaste for free, only pay sales tax, right? And I wholesale, like, you know, wholesale, that means you, you want to sell all your product. Like, if I have a thousand, I'm selling all a thousand to one person for a lesser price, you know? So if I pay 13 cents for a thousand, I can wholesale it for 50 cents and triple triple my money so I was doing stuff like that I was regular selling it you know um, and I was wholesaling it so the point is man um, it was one time bro where I had 20 grand cash that I was able to save up from that you know but um, 
But yeah, man, long story short, I went out of business and business stopped being good. It wasn't good anymore. And I think it also had a lot to do with me Um, I was going to say smoking weed, but I didn't even start smoking weed until a little later after that. Guys, I didn't start smoking weed until I was like 23. So the business, the coupon business and the stuff I'm talking about right now, like I said, I learned from my first job. And I started my first job at a shop right as a cashier when I was 16. You know, and I was there close to, I think, close to five years, guys. So I got into the coupon business right around 20, twenty years old, yeah. And uh, so yeah, but I got out of it when I was like. 23 and then when I was 23 that's when I started smoking weed I had some money saved up and everything you know at that point you know so back to my eyes guys yeah my eyes been are bothering me right now so excuse me while I put some more milk in my eyes guys okay but back to my eyes okay guys I uh I hated glasses and everything, you know. I was tired of dealing with contacts every day. The reason I'm lifting up my eyelid is so that the milk could go back um, and lubricate, you know. Um, milk actually works really good, guys, because it has fat in it, and fat is good for uh, lub like lub lubrication. It's like oil almost, you know what I mean? So, uh, anyway, guys, yeah, I actually had laser vision done to my eyes, you know, where, so when I was 23, guys, this is more, more than 10 years ago since I had laser vision, okay? More than 10 years since I had the laser vision. And, you know, before laser vision, without glasses, you know, I was, they call it nearsighted. In other words, I couldn't see things far away. It would get the farther, the more blurry they will be. But now I have like 20 20 vision from the laser vision. And uh, with that said, man, I recommend it to anybody. So, you know, uh, yeah, and at that time, I, I got it done because I had money. And, and, and back then, it was like when it first came out, it cost a lot of money, you know, when it first came out. And I paid uh, two grand for each uh, cash money. You know, and uh, my uh, dad took me to my appointment that I made for myself for that because I, I needed, you know, somebody to drive me back because after the laser vision, I had to keep my eyes in a blindfold. It had to stay completely dark. I couldn't see no sunlight or nothing like that. So, you know, he drove me home and I just went to bed. You know, I went to sleep and the eyes healed uh, after like three or four days, you know, uh, from 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 being cut with the laser. And uh, and yeah, you know, I had I I had perfect vision, and I have perfect vision right now. Praise God, you know. Um, but I have something called astigmatism as well. And that means that your eye is not completely round or whatever. So it's just another uh, 
another uh, complication or whatever. So, regular price back then was fifteen hundred per eye, but for my astigmatism, it was an extra five hundred per eye. So, so yeah, I paid four thousand dollars cash. I think it was plus tax for my eyes, guys. Okay, and it's one of the best decisions I made in my life, man. I don't, re I don't regret it at all. You know, from having very poor vision, you know, to having excellent vision, you know, for all these years, and, and my vision never declined or nothing, you know, guys, now, to continue on with my eyes, you know, when I moved, you know, here to, to my land, and I'm doing work on my land and everything, you know, long story short, um, I walked into a sharp piece of uh, metal wire fencing that I put up for my dogs on my homestead. I just walked right into it with my left eye. And it poked, so, it, so I don't know if you guys can see, I got like some red a little bit in the eye, but I was stabbed with that wire fencing right in my eye, it was just bleeding, gushing, and as I was walking, you know, um, it, it just got me right in the eye, you know, and immediately I went right under, you know, some cold water, rainwater that is, you know, because uh, cold water will stop, it will um, constrict the blood, you know, and kind of slow it down. So that's the first thing I did was just go right under cold water after my eye was bleeding from being poked with a metal fence. And only the white part, so, you know, thank God it didn't hit um, the iris or the, or, or the pupil. You know, I could have really lost my eye, man. Um, but what I did after that, you know, I immediately laid down in bed after putting the cold water on there in my eye, you know. I immediately laid down in bed with it just covered with like a towel or something and just began to pray, man for the rest of the day, bro, and not move, just stay there with my eye covered and just pray, man. I was just praying to the Lord Jesus Christ, man. You know? And, uh, you know, basically he told me what to do, man, but I, I knew, you know, it's like a regular wound, you know, you want to wait for a while for your body to heal itself and begin to you know, uh, scab up or start to heal on its own and close the wound to a degree, you know. And for um, your body to become, you know, from any pulsating of the uh, blood vessels or whatever, you know. And so, I, like I said, I just... And I think I just... Woke up the next morning, or whatever, or it might have been the same day after I got done praying. But, you know, after I got done praying, you know, I received from the Lord what He wanted me to do. I never went to the doctor, the doctor, no hospital or nothing. I went to Dr. Jesus, man. And prayer, like I said, he gave me the answer. Now, I was always drinking tea before this and everything, so it wasn't nothing, you know, for me to heat up some tea or whatever. So that's what he told me to do, man, is pour whatever tea I was drinking at the time. I think it was, uh, uh, I don't know if it was black tea 
or a green sea. I think it was black sea. I think it was black sea. Um, but with honey, with not you know the garbage, fake honey. I'm talking about the real, good for you type of honey. You know, local uh, raw honey. You know, straight from the bee. You know what I'm saying? They call it raw local. You know, usually it will come in like a glass jar. And uh, I was like I said, I was already putting that honey. You know, for this other type benefits and everything. But and so just like I was already making my tea every day, you know, that's what the Lord wanted me to put in my eye with the honey in it, okay, guys, because that honey is a natural antibiotic, you know, it's also uh, lubricating, and I stopped doing it, you know, putting the tea with the honey in my eye, but even today, it's like, I've done it, like, a couple of weeks ago, and even today, it's very smooth. And so, um, the thing is, though, you don't want you don't want the, the, the tea to be too hot. So, you could drink the tea or whatever, you know, wait for it to cool down. Wait for it to cool down, you know, but when it's, like, just warm, you know, like, on, on the hotter side, though, but not too hot, you get what I'm saying? With that good honey, um, yeah, man, I was just pouring that in my eye, you know, like three times a day. I was making tea and, and doing that three times a day. That's what the Lord wanted me to do, man. And I was just sleeping a lot, you know, so I could my eye could heal, you know. And, uh, and I stayed in prayer, man. And, and, and I never, like I said, I never went to the hospital. The Lord healed my eye. The Lord healed my eye, man. Now, to continue with my eye, you know, because I'm trying to stay on the eye topic, even though somehow I got on that coupon topic, but that's because I was trying to tell you guys, you know, business was good, and that's how I was able to have the money and just pay cash money straight out of my pocket for the laser vision, right? So yeah, guys, this is the video, the message about my eyes. This video, you know, is, I guess, to give a recommendation for laser vision for anybody else because nowadays the price went way down. I think it now it's like 500 per eye, you know? Um, and also to continue sharing my knowledge with you guys and letting you guys know what the Lord wanted me to do when it comes to the, you know, warm uh, tea. It's very soothing and healing for the eye, you know. So the honey is antibiotic. It's a natural antibiotic. So, and 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 the tea also has uh, properties in it, you know, that obviously was good, you know, and helped with the healing process, you know? So I'm just sharing, you know, um, sharing what, what helped me with you guys, okay? While uh, making this YouTube content, okay? Now, in my videos, I'm not trying to be too, too personal. So, I'll probably be talking about other stuff besides for myself all the time. So, so yeah, man, just stay tuned, and I hope you guys enjoy the content, man. But like I said, to continue with my eyes, man. Um, you know, I think this is the reason why I got arrested one time, and I was charged for DUI, not for alcohol, but he suspected drugs, he probably thought I was smoking weed, because I still have redness from that injury I just told you guys about, you know, so, 
I was completely sober, guys, and this and this uh, and this cop, you know, arrested me, towed my car, and everything. Um, this was a couple years ago, but uh, you know, my P test came back clean and everything. They threw they threw it out of court, but you're basically guilty and so pro and innocent because. Motor Vehicles was already in the process of, of suspending my license for DUI and everything, you know. But then after my court date and the judge threw out the charges of DUI, you know, um, they told me basically, yeah, I called uh, DMV back and because I was dealing with them, uh, telling them like that the DUI charge was bo bogus, you know, and I drive for a living, you know. But uh, after they threw it out, I called the, the motor vehicles back on the phone, and they said just uh, just go to uh, you know the the DMV and uh, just get a duplicate. So that's what I, that's what I was able to do. What else do I want to say? According to my eyes, because I'm probably not going to make no eye part two videos. So. With that said, man, on the spiritual aspect of things, man, the Lord Jesus Christ gives us sight, man. Um, you know, the Lord Jesus Christ is always the solution, guys, man. Um, when I got bit by a copperhead snake, that's a whole nother video, guys, but I did the same exact thing. Um, that snake actually shot venom into me. So it wasn't just a drive bite, but immediately I did the same thing. I went straight to the bed and I laid down and I prayed and God told me what to do. So, um, which was, uh, basically nothing, not like the eye thing, you know, where he wanted me to put uh, tea with the honey together in my eye but I just laid there for like three or four days straight after I got bit by a copperhead snake on my land so the copperhead snake that might be a whole nother video actually that has to be a whole nother video because it's a, it's a couple of revelations according to the Bible when it comes to you know, me getting bit by a copperhead snake, you know, guys, so that's a deep message, that one, so you guys just stay tuned for the content, man, plenty more content I gotta make, um, on so much different things, man, you know, so, you know, the Bible says, right, that uh, they have they have eyes but can't see, ears but can't hear. You know, speaking on spiritual things. So, you know, guys, you can have physical good eyesight, but what about your spiritual eyesight? You know. So, anyway, guys, with that said, man. Um. Because of my eye injury, you know, the left eye, you know, also blue light, like from these devices, really irritate and can dry out your eyes. That's a known fact as well, guys. From, it's called, uh, like, oxidization or something like that, right? So... Nowadays, I think, you know, a lot of my dry eye problems are just from looking at devices too much, looking at too much blue light with these phones and stuff, guys. So if you ever see me making a video just looking away, then that's why, okay, guys? You know? Um, so, yeah, that's about it for this video. This video is about my eyes. 
the coupon business. How I was falsely accused of DUI in Jesus' name. Peace.